My uh, subject is, is today a, a bit not so broad. It's very specific, and it's about kick, lo kick loads on stable fittings and building elements. We are short in time. I have just, I think, uh, 12, 14 minutes to go, and uh, perhaps not that even. And uh, I want to concentrate on applied aspects on our studies and not go into material and methods so much. So if you want to know more about that, you can read our article in Biosystem Engineering. Nothing happened? Okay. So when we started this uh, studies or, or thinking about how hard a, a horse can kick or how hard to kick a horse. We guess a lot, but we couldn't find any single published article about this subject. So we think we have to start, and why is it important to know how hard a horse kick? It can be uh, different um, <clears throat> reasons, of course, perhaps to protect the human or something like that, but one reason is to reduce upkeeping and maintain work of fittings and building elements. I mean, it's cost money, and if you don't manage the upkeeping, it, uh, the stable will perhaps be both dangerous or ugly looking. What? What's that? Okay, but uh, the main reason for me, anyway, is to prevent equine injuries. And we have an um, well, animal welfare regulation in Sweden that, for instance, saying that equine fittings shall resist horse kicks. So we must follow that. And then we have to know what this means. The authority don't know, but we have to, to solve this. And... Further, they say they, that fittings shall be designed so that horses cannot get stuck with hoof, jaw, or head. And I, leaving jaw and head uh, today, I just concentrate on the hoof that is um, connected with, with kicking. And there can be a, a different scenarios, of, of course. One is that the horse is kicking against the grid and gets stuck. And sometimes the horse is rolling in, in the box or whatever and just slip in the hoof in, in the grate. But they can kick and destruct the planks of windows or, or a hay rack because of their, it, their <coughs> our grids. Actually, we really don't know how many horses are hurt or injured in Sweden, but we have... Um, a preliminary uh, results that about 1% of the Swedish horse population are injured be uh, because of wrong grids uh, during a 10 years period. That means that we have 360 horses per year injured. If that is an animal welfare problem or not, you have to decide. I think you have 1.2 or 4 million horses here, so it should be over 1,000 uh, horses in, in, uh, in France hurting. I don't know, or injured. Mostly, uh, the injuries are more or less severe wounds or cuts, but even fractures. And the picture here is a horse that have kicked through a great uh, grid and then... Uh, tumble down and have hurting the lower yours when banging the head to the floor because it want to get free when it st uh, had uh, get stuck in, in, in the grid. But we have no official statistics uh, concerning this, and um, this is a lack, I, I suppose. But we have. A lot of, of histories uh, about just horses get stuck. This time is a police horse. The overall goal 
for our studies was to decide sufficient strength and appropriate design based on impact loads of kicking horses. And in the end, actually, have a kicking test or a crash test as we use when it, for our cars. I mean, we want more safety cars. And if we want more safety fittings and, and building construction, we should have a test so we can say this fitting passed the, the test or not. <coughs> and if we have such a, a crash test, then we can say, as, as I said, uh, uh, this is safety and this is not safety. We measure the forces when horse kicks, and we have uh, created or, or manufactured a force measuring wall. And then sometimes we provoke the, the horse to kick at this measuring wall. What we get was a curve, a force time curve. So we have all as well the uh, duration of the force from the kick. And if you calculate the area under the curve, you get the impulse. And in the figure to the right, you can see that the kicks are different hard, of course. But in this case, or with these aims, we want to see how hard a horse can kick and then the hardest kick is most of interest. So we measure, uh, the greatest force we measured was 8.7 kilonewton. That's nearly one ton if you want. It's not correct to, to say so, but you perhaps understand that. And the greatest impulse was 131 I will, newton seconds. I will come back to that later on. So <clears throat> next question was, do our fittings resist the hard horse kick? And we tried to design what I told you before, a crash test. And we use a simple way, or simple um, yeah, device, a drop hammer, with the horse show inclining 45 degrees as a falling body. And then we're comparing the field data we have and uh, with the drop hammer. And to make a long story short, we just say it's a good test method, actually, as a, as a crash test. And the authorities and the manufacturers are agreeing. So, conclusion so far. Considering the registered values and taking into account a certain safety margin, the impact resistant demand for traditional horse boxes, but even other things, but, but in this case horse boxes, at least 150 newton seconds. I will come back to what I've uh, written inside the brick, uh, brickets, perhaps, brackets, I'm sorry, uh, because the impact energy is the most in interesting. But go, before I go further, we just did some, some pre-test and we tested what we call in Sweden a standard grid for a box. And that is the most, uh, standard grid is, is what the most uh, manufacturers are using in, in Sweden. And this uh, is a, a grid of parallel uh, tubes and with a span of 73 centimeters the tube dimension of 20 times 2, sometimes it used 22 times 2, and the free space between the tubes, the parallel tubes, was uh, about 65 millimeters. Of course, there are a different design of, of uh, such a uh, grid. And I want to show you what happened if, if the computer is fast enough. Uh, when we let the, the hammer coming down, with an with impulse of 100 newton seconds. And it's slow motion, and it's very slow motion, I suppose. It's nothing happened. Okay. I, I haven't patience for that. Um, so we go further. What happened is that the, the body or a hammer was falling and penetrate the grids and get stuck. 
And that is happened with the hoof on a horse. And we know that a lot of horses have kicked through and penetrated a grid like this. So our standard uh, grid for, for our Swedish horse boxes is not enough to be safe. Meanwhile, we were studying this. Actually, Susanne Geckler from Germany was uh, measuring the same thing. Uh, unfortunately, not published. Uh, what I know, perhaps it's have been, but I miss it. But I have asked uh, colleagues in Germany to, to, to check it up. But anyway, she was measuring an uh, impact load of nearly 20 kilonewtons. That is two tons. And that is two times, 2.5 times more than our measurements. So I actually, our horses didn't kick so hard as I, I suppose the horses can. However, the parameter most interest, I said, is the energy when you are talking about crashes. And if you have the impulse, what we measured, and multiplied the impulse with speed divided by two, you have the impact energy or the genetic energy. And we couldn't measure yet the, the speed. We want to do that. But next question we have to answer is how fast kick a horse, not only how hard it kick, or how fast moves the hoof. I think the most of you have seen this from, from, uh, from YouTube. This man, it's a funny thing to see, I suppose, but uh, actually, it's a not just an ordinary video. Oh, sorry, I'm, it's an ordinary video, so it has just 38 frames or something like that. But actually, I analyzed this, I put it and, and uh, uh, compare every frame and I estimated that the hoof was moving 12 meters per second. And that makes sense, because I think a horse can kick as fast as it can run. Otherwise, it's, uh, the horse had a problem, I suppose. So, in the present situation, we said that 150 newton seconds is uh, at least the, the lower limit we can accept. And we said 400 U. And that means that um, the hoof is moving with 5.5 meters per second. And you can see that the pre-test grid that uh, the video film was failed, but, but anyway. And if we just calculate that the hoof are moving 10 meters per second, then we are up to 750 joules. And now actually the manufacturers of box, um, uh, horse boxes are getting nervous, real nervous. So what is a safe horse box or, or for instance, safe grids in horse boxes? I don't know. Um, we haven't agreed about what demands we should have on these crash uh, tests, uh, especially the manufacturers don't want it because then they, they can keep uh, selling uh, unsafety grids. But I, for instance, tried uh, a welded steel wire mesh, 50 times 5, and I gave up when I have uh, crushed the, the, the hammer with 910 joules. And it's still, okay, it's with damage, but the horse couldn't get hurt because uh, it's just the, the damage of the material. So we, we are still, um, yeah, I'm so ready. <laughs> uh, so I think we are going to sell a lot of unsafety fittings and uh, underdimensioned structures in in until we accept that the horse can kick very hard. So thank you very much. <laughs>